Hey guys, more of a quick video. I um, migrated my overlay class over to a more game-centered class, so it's uh, you know it's easier to utilize if you if you have no interest in doing like a direct 2D overlay, but you instead wanted to just mess around with some simple games and stuff. Then uh, this would be maybe something you'd be interested in. Um, it's sort of bare bones at the moment. It's got pretty much all the stuff from my overlay class. And I added a little bit more, some custom stuff, specifically like game oriented, so it's got like built in um, frame rate. Uh, it's got some some checking and stuff that it does. Um, here's a, a quick little game I threw together really quick. Um, if anyone used to use Game Maker way back in the, the day, there was like a, a clown clicker thing. And that was like the first thing I ever made as a, as a kid. And uh, so I recreated it really quick in Auto Hockey. And uh, basically you just click the ball, it respawns, and every time you click it, uh, you get points. It goes faster, it gets smaller, and eventually um, it becomes very difficult. Just a really simple project, something that you can kind of get the feel for things. Uh, this will be on the GitHub, which will be in the description, this example. And um, if you've used the overlay class, this one's pretty similar. You uh, create... Actually, I'll go to the the class here. So you have your XY position of your game window, your width, height, the title name, which is, um, you know, up here, it's whatever the, the name is. Uh, V-Sync is like, um, if you have it set to 1, which is default, it will, you'll see the FPS matches my monitor's refresh rate, give or take, you know, 1 or 2. Uh, if it's off, which I can, I can show you here, then you get much more FPS, but um, it consumes a lot more CPU. And also, if your game doesn't account for, um, like, frame time, then it'll also speed the game up a ton. So if I come here and set VSync to off, and I reload, uh, now we'll get about 1,000, 1,100 FPS, and it moves a lot faster like this. This could be good for some games, though. But uh, I'm going to leave VSync on, because uh, it is much more... Um, suitable for what I'm doing. Uh, I got some simple buttons here and stuff. Gives um, beginner players something easier to mess with. Also, the the UI can be resized, but uh, if you don't account for it, then there'll just be a bunch of empty space. But if you if you did account for it, then you could have um, you could have some really nice scaling UI and, and games and stuff. But, um, it's a little, there's a few quirks here. Sometimes, um, it doesn't quite scale right. I'm still trying to figure that out. I do plan to, yeah, see, so here's another one where it didn't quite scale right. I'm not sure why yet. But, I plan to fix that, add some more stuff to it as well. Some more game-specific things that'll help you to just get through stuff. Uh, as far as the code goes for this example, I do things a little bit differently here. Because we're using VSync, uh, you don't want to have a timer. Instead, you want to have a loop that has no sleep because the, the Direct2D um, functions will take care of the sleep themselves. So you would do set batch lines negative one to tell AutoHockey to run as fast as it can, and then a loop with no sleep, it, and that will... Um, that will allow the vsync to work correctly. Um, I've built some just simple classes down here for the walls, um, the ball logic, and uh, some other things. They're pretty easy, you know, they're just little helper things really. There's not much going on here. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, a little bit of math and stuff, but nothing too crazy. I don't have a ton of examples because I I, I spent maybe like two hours or so uh, converting this, and I plan to, like I said, release more stuff as time goes on. Um, but hopefully, this is useful for some people as it is now, and um, hopefully I can get to adding the other stuff soon. There's just a lot going on right now, so it might be a little bit. But anyway, I hope you guys found this useful, and uh, as usual, you can find the GitHub link in the description, and you can post um, uh, problems or suggestions in there, and I will 
get to them if I'm able to. And um, you can check the comments in the description as well for a, a, a link to my, my Discord ID in case you have complicated questions or you just you just want some help. So anyway, see you guys later.